Welcome to Let's Play PC Gamer Magazine Underground. In February of 1996, PC Gamer Magazine changed the menu for their monthly cover disc of game demos. They called it PC Gamer Underground. The interface was a virtual office you could walk around in, kind of like Myst. In addition to installing demos from the disc or looking up old review scores, the menu itself was also a game. This is a let's play of that series of cover disc menus. Alright, let's get things started here. Uh, this is actually just a screenshot from the installer, but I thought it'd be good for a background. And let's launch. I've always loved that fly-through, especially the roller coaster scream as we pass by the train. Okay, so here we are in kind of an old alley. I love the dark city soundscape, the steam vents, wind blowing garbage around, dogs barking in the distance, police sirens, electrical hum from transformers. Oh yeah, we're in the city. Over here we've got some sort of a 50s style car with fins. Train behind us. Streamlined Art Deco train. Probably could be a Raymond Lowry design. Lowry's. Yeah. Oh, what's this? There's a little notebook in the alley. Indian head. Notes of dirty clothes cleaner. I first saw her as she walked towards the laundromat. She was a vision, her long auburn hair blowing in the breeze, flowing over her camel hair blazer which, with proper cleaning, should last her a lifetime. As she turned the corner, I noticed a distant look in her eyes and a yellow spot on her white blouse that could easily be removed at my dry cleaners for only a dollar fifty. If only she knew. I feared she had other blouses with other stains in her laundry basket. Does she know how to pre-soak and sort properly? The thought of her destroying her garments sent a chill down my spine. Those poor, defenseless clothes, they'd never again drape her body in so fine a way. Do I risk approaching her? Should I be so bold? I guess that's all he wrote. Yeah, there's mysterious documents like this all over the place. Uh, I don't know what they mean. They might be related to those strange bits of text that were always on the uh, last page of PC Gamer magazine, uh, on the like, bottom right-hand corner. They did that every month. Uh, I think they're still doing it. Don't know for certain. So here we have sort of a ramshackle little thing. It's actually an elevator. Uh, yeah, they just bark at you for now, but in later versions, this is actually what triggers sort of a uh, last time on PC Gamer message. And some famous covers of PC Gamer magazine. I like that they use this one because it kind of looks like a movie poster. That's a good game. Well, that didn't work. Okay, we're pretty far underground now. Now, I know you're expecting Coconut Monkey, but this is actually before Coconut Monkey. And there's a FMV receptionist. Uh, let's go startle her. Boo! Oh! Jeez! 
Oh, look at this mess. Look, I excuse me, we're not really open yet. Oh, well, since you're here, make yourself at home. Go play some games on the jukebox. We've got the latest demos. Just give me a minute to straighten up. Come back, ring this bell, okay? Thanks, hon. She said to go check out the jukebox, which is where all the game demos are. Ugh, that kind of stops the audio every time you click. Well, we're not here for that. We're here to play the PC Gamer Underground game. So here we are in the offices of PC Gamer. It's kind of a uh, Terry Gilliam's Brazil look to it with all the, uh, the pipes up here. Also, the computers are very similar to the book, uh, computers from that movie. The PC Gamer Game. There's a game associated with using the PC Gamer CD. Clues are left around the office. These clues will direct you towards text files or audio files. You'll have to do, do you'll have to do a bit of snooping around to uncover everything. You'll know when you've located all of the clues when you press the bell at the receptionist desk and hear receive a voiceover from our PC Gamer narrator. Read the disc pages in the magazine for additional information on our little game and what to do when you've uncovered all the clues. Well, I don't exactly uh, have the magazine with me. I got this off of archive.org. They have all of the PC Gamer cover discs now. Well... Let's bother her. Ow! Shoot! Oh, gosh. Oh, it's not your fault. It's that editor, Ben. It's, he told me there wouldn't be anyone here for at least another week, and... Well... Look, welcome to PC Gamer. Feel free to poke around. Bennett's desk might be a good place to start. He was writing a letter or something, but I haven't looked at it yet, so don't blame me if it's not very good. I gotta go restock the urinal cakes. Okay, let's go check his desk. Well, actually, first let's do a couple things here. Where do these cakes go anyway? Oh, just a minute, hon. Thank you for calling PC Gamer. Oh, hi, Dan. It's the editor. You didn't tell me we'd be open for visitors already. No. I haven't seen him all day. I thought he was with you. Kidnapped? Okay. Okay, I'll look for it. Well, you sure picked a great day to visit. Someone's kidnapped the team's monkey, Ricketts. Now, Dan said he made a list of possible suspects this morning. Would you mind helping me look for it? Let me know if you find anything. Uh, Ricketts the monkey has been kidnapped. Let's read a little bit more about that uh, at the editor's desk. My dearest Clementine, everybody's all upset around here since our monkey, Ricketts, was kidnapped. Everyone but me, that is. Just got my new hair plugs in place when that dal-ganged monkey jumped on my head and started pulling them out. And that hurts. Not that I need any plugs, it's just that Shatner, he looks so good with them. I thought I'd give it a try. But he's so cute, I can't stay mad at him for long. Same goes for the monkey. I better get on the stick and find out who kidnapped Ricketts or no one will get any work done around here. It's hard enough to get anyone to do work with that new Command and Conquer demo on the jukebox. I made a list of possible suspects, but I seem to have misplaced my notebook. I'm sure it'll show up somewhere in, the, in this office. Stay in touch. And write me here at work. The address is... Uh, that's the address. I'd love to hear from you, and let me know how you feel about the new demo CD you received. No idea if that's still the correct address. Okay, so we need to find a notebook. Okay, that's not clickable. Oh, what's this? Over here on a chair. List of possible suspects. Frears. Denied job on art staff. Torgo. Creepy guy. Came into office under suspicious circumstances. 
Livingston, freaking animal lover. Berthelman, application denied, still bugs us. Wu, some strange old man that's been hanging around in the alley. Hmm. So that are, those are the suspects. Great! You found the list? Dan told me he was sure that he recognized the kidnapper's voice. Real annoying, he said. If you need to get into the personnel files, go ahead. The combination's 517. Now, if you get the full name of that kidnapper, be sure to write it down. Okay, password is 517. Though, we're looking for an annoying voice. So let's check the intercom first to see if anybody in the office is a suspect. Uh, Cheryl, listen, I'm gonna be a little late coming in today. I gotta run into the hair club and get a new weave. Uh, this last one just didn't take. A lot of jokes about hair plugs. Now, PC Gamer presents the Kookaloo. Um, the reason the audio keeps switching for the background sound is because this system is only capable of playing one wave file at a time, so they actually had to mix in the uh, background music with or background sound here with every single one of these samples. I just had a strange call from Ricketts. He said, what, what, what? He never hits a sentence that way. Is he okay? Ow, my ears. This room is little more than a creaky platform suspended over a bottomless pit. I think that's a quote from a review. Hello. Anybody in there? Don't bother me! I'm busy! Okay. These change every month. So. Oh, that'd be the uh, review cabinet. So now it was. Wait. There we go. Huggy Frias. Along with his brother, Hurley, writes a rather lame comic strip. He was trying to schmooze his way into our art staff, but one look at his comic blew any chance he had. Though one of his comics did display an advanced knowledge of monkeys. Hmm, <laughs> suspicious. Torgo, no first name, a rather twisted, slow-talking individual with very large knees, approached our receptionist desk mumbling about something about wanting to buy some Mentos. I guess he thought we were a convenience store, but when Ricketts hopped on his knees, he seemed to develop an almost childlike fascination with the monkey. Okay. George G. Furthelman applied for a job once, years ago. Still calls sometimes. Annoying voice! I think this might be our man. Might get upset that we used our budget to buy Ricketts rather than hire him. Ah, motive for revenge. Sam Lee Livingston, world traveler and animal lover. Met him recently at a local fundraiser. When I mentioned Ricketts, he went on a vitriol about keeping wild animals captive, and that pith helmet seemed awfully out of place. Okay. Mr. Wu, wise old man that hangs out in the alley at times, knows that monkeys will eat babies if they get the chance, also knows an ancient Chinese secret for cleaning shirts, something odd about him. Cleaning shirts, maybe that's the guy who wrote Indian Head? I don't know. But I think we have our man at this point, George G. Furthman. And this next part is a little weird. And so, the criminal is really one G. G. Furthman. Well, the PC gamer came at the connection in time. Stay tuned for next what all new adventure. Okay, we actually just won the game. Uh, that sample is supposed to only play after you ring the bell after finding all the clues. But since this is the first one, I think they just hadn't worked all the kinks out yet. So, we've already won, but there's actually more clues we haven't found yet. Because we need to go and check the answering machine.
Hey Jim, it's Jerry Garcia. I'm not really dead. Got tired of all that boring hippie rock stuff and got a job doing PR for Microsoft. Oh, gotta get going. Bill's calling. I'll send you a press kit. Bye! Okay. Mr. Pat, this is George calling. I really think you should reconsider me from that position. I think I can really add something to the team. <laughs> Uh, that's the man, that's the voice of the man who stole Ricketts. Ricketts the monkey. Well done. Remember, everything you learn in here, all the new moves you acquire, you can use on the outside. Uh, I don't know if I understood that. Don't touch that. You're liable to set it off, and who knows what will become magnetized. I feel like I'm missing a lot of these jokes. Oh well. So... We've won the game and she doesn't show up anymore. I'm probably going to... leave now. Okay. That was episode one. See you next time.